Hello everyone, and welcome back to my let's play of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. In the last episode, we have reached the satellite called Urak 5, where we are hoping to find ourselves a new navigator. There is apparently a navigator we can obtain on the station, but due to a revolt and some sort of internal disagreement, uh, we need to solve their problems first. And to solve them, we need to rebuild a control road and reactivate the elevator. Before that, we have reached a computer and are going to read what is said on it. So let's do that. Uh, awaken it. Examine the log. View Vox report number this. The Vox recording hisses for some time before you hear a voice. This is Officer A282. Drew copy. Several generators overheated on the lower levels. Chambers A through D are unpowered. The deck with crew sent to investigate the problem is not responding. Requesting back. The officer's speech is interrupted by turbulent shouts and the recording abruptly ends. Officer H123 speaking. 200 servants have perished due to explosive decompression of the living quarters. We have located traces of mechanical interference. The preliminary cause is officer sabotage. Crews 5, 6 and 9 are cut off from the main compartment. We have enough oxygen for 20 minutes. May the Emperor save our souls. Senior Station Officers, this is the Captain speaking. We attempted to contact the Winter Scale Scion for help, but something is jamming the signal. We never received a reply and cannot be sure it was even sent in the first place. Every a rescue team is not coming. We are on our own, so remain vigilant. Anyone can be a traitor. You hear me? Anyone. If you are in doubt, shoot to kill. I am growing increasingly, increasingly more convinced that it is Fennec. Let's examine recent entries in the incident log. Report X880. Originator classified. Date classified. The servants close to the child have started butchering one another again. An order came from above to have their remains reprocessed. Report X886. Classified, classified. The negotiations with the winter scales were a success. New batch of servants will arrive in 10 moons. Escort them to laboratory at once. It is, imperative, it is imperative that we increase the new retainer's resistance to the child's powers. Reports, report X89-1. Classified, classified. Data expunged. Okay. So it looks like the navigator sign that they have on this station is maybe speeding too much chaos into the surroundings. Examine the station's docking log. Uh, the log is almost completely corrupted, but you managed to recover the latest entry. Identity confirmed. Regent Aronto Orselio. Date of visit classified. Reason for visit classified. Date of departure classified. Examine the security and life support box. The yellow lumens above the control panel are ushered to life by the machine spirits as a singular repeating message streams down the vid screen. Warning! Damage in technical compartments A12, B3, D8 and H24 detected. Warning. Leaving the quarters L10, L16 and L28 depressurized. Warning. Unable to access the station's docking system. Warning. Energy regulation system. Unknown error. The station will transfer over to emergency power. Immediate evacuation of the facility is advised. Warning. View the encrypted data. The machine spirits are buzzing restlessly in its metallic gut. Several red lumens light up above the vid screen. Required access level, security captain or above. Current access level, senior security officer. Tech use 10. Okay, so uh, uh, something that we have now figured out is that uh, the higher this value is, the better. Because we want to roll under the skill value and difficulty modifier. Break through the machine guardian's defenses. Success. You easily bypass the restrictions imposed on the sacred machine. The tired spirits make the overloaded cogitator systems whir unhappily, but then they evidently retreat. Most of the encrypted data is wiped. You find traces of the purge protocol. Recovery is impossible, but a list of the most recent commands, having been embedded in the machine's spirit consciousness, now fleets across the screen in a single creeping line. Child, delete picked flow, disable access code, annul station controls, delete, activate uh, shuttle cell destruct, purge commander. Okay, so this is definitely all deliberate sabotage. 
Uh, exploring the archives for a while longer allows you to recover a surviving excerpt from a report by the captain of the guard that mentions the security system had recently been reconfigured without letting him know. His comment goes as follows. Only the keepers of the station have access to the life support system. But Master Theobald had been at the child's side, and so was I. Could it be that... that it was Felic? Yeah, I think so. Uh, can we call Rikard Minoris for help? This is, the system cannot carry out your command, despite the eager compliance of the machine spirits. One thing is certain, the problem does not lie in the cogitator mechanisms. Uh, switch to the main chamber controls. The cogs within the sacred mechanism slowly start grinding, squealing and clicking. The tired machine spirits grant you access to the control of the station. Or at least the, at least the parts that still obey the cogitator. Open all doors on the level. The cogitator's weed screen goes down as if the machine spirits had fled their mechanical casket, but your assumption is incorrect, as it fills with static just a few moments later. You can barely make out an inscription amidst the flow of rapidly changing symbols. Warning, data corrupted. Processing, 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 error. <laughs> is required. Okay, uh, I can roll logic, and I have good logic, so I have a 100% chance. Uh, is the, Okay, so I think... Uh, uh, let's see, so it is this line, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, one. Zero, no, this is a different line. Huh, is there some meaning to the pattern? Let's see if this pattern is present somewhere. Zero to ones and four zeros. Zero to ones, three zeros, no. This pattern is not present anywhere. How does it match to this line? Uh... So if we go by binary, this is a uh, eight. N uh, no, I, I don't see any relation. Let's just go with the skill check. The vid screen lights up with a smattering of unfamiliar green symbols, and you hear a peculiar click from somewhere behind you. It appears one of the do doors in the chamber has opened. Return to the list of the available commands. Main elevator controls. A few manipulations with the switches make you realize the elevator release the Oh, make you realize the elevator to the upper chambers is blocked. Activate the elevator. Processing query confirmed. Okay. We are done with the sacred machine. Uh okay. Navis nobility secrets. Now we need to rebuild the control mechanism uh, control room. What have we opened? I think we opened this door. Which looks like it will give us access to some goods. It is cargo. Oh, we have a new chest plate and a new gun. Fantastic. Let's take a look at this. Uh, chest plate. More armor and dodge against grenades. Dodge against grenades is not so good, but armor is. And, yeah, we have a new look. And as for our weapon, how does it compare? Uh, more damage, uh, more hit chance, more range. All around better weapon. Fantastic. Uh, does everyone have armor? Uh, you two have a black vest, uh, uh, which is... No, your armor is probably better. Then let's break into this uh, locker and find a Reaper Auto Pistol. How does the Reaper Auto Pistol compare? It is better damage and uh, penetration than the regular Auto Pistol, and better rate of fire, and more ammo. Yeah, I'm done with it. I can dig it. What else do we have? We have this room full of servants. Let's see what they have to say for themselves. None shall stand in my way. Uh, glowing thing. For some reason, the arch enemy's twisted influence has found a way into the station. Uh, is this... Okay, I see. It's like a chaos corruption, I think. Servants. We're done for! They, can, they will kill us all! I cannot take this anymore! Uwe. Uh, he gave me a rough bloody sketch. 
It is a crumpled sheet of paper with a tall woman and a dark-eyed monster, drawn with flesh fresh blood. Uwe has Uwe had his life docked, just like the rest of the servant the rest of the lesser servants of House of Sedio. What? Uh where's the child? Is she safe? Um, okay, not entirely sure what is happening here, but uh, I am not one to argue. So, I think this should have opened the large door in the main chamber. Too many voices. I can hear their rage. The door is open. Come and avenge us, they say. It's probably this door. Uh... Do we go and chat with the... Uh... Oh, there is still a loot piece I missed somewhere. This one. I think this door was previously closed, maybe? No? Is it just off the map somewhere? Huh. Okay, I guess the map is just lying to me. Or something has spawned us outside the level. Uh... Do we go... You know what? Before we go through the door, I think we should go have a chat with Mr. Felix. We have found some evidence of foul play Experience. on his part. Nothing matters more. So, Felix. And also, you conveniently killed everyone from the other side the second we entered the station. Okay, None he will not talk to me. Understood. Mm, I'm glad you're in good spirits, Abelot. Still asserting dominance. Cannot stop asserting dominance. And this is the child we are here to rescue. No! Oh, okay, wait. The door is still closed? Okay... I thought we would go through the door. Do we go through the elevator? Compared to naval service, that was barely a challenge. Hmm. I thought we needed the control rod for the elevator. Yeah, control rod required. So where are we going? Uh oh. Okay. Unexpected I, I thought I had it figured out and I actually didn't. Uh, yeah, we have 100% chance of passing this uh, skill check. So, uh, the door is closed, right? Yes, the door is uh, closed. Uh -huh. Was there something else here that I should have opened? Is this door accessible in any way? No, this door is closed. Uh, this console is not interactable. Uh, I took everything from here. Uh, I've spoken with the servants. Is there something in my inventory? I have flesh samples and a blood phylactery. A sealed vessel with engraved initials CTEO. I have data crypts. I have research notes. I have... Uh, I do not have any part of the control rod. So what do I do? What does this search button do? It doesn't inspect. Who knows what it is. Let's see what else is here. Uh, main chamber controls. Open all doors on the level. Uh, this one? Oh, I see. We need... I see. Uh, it is actually a list of doors. And we just opened the secret one. Uh, this door is already opened. This door has already been opened. Uh, compartment is depressurized. The protocol is put into effect. The passage has been opened. Uh, the door has already been opened. And another passage opened. Okay. Now we're done. 
Probably. Probably. Uh, any door here? No, no door here. Then, so we opened two doors. What were the two doors? And was opening any of them a mistake? Okay, I, I see the guy. Whoop CS goggles. A wheel plus willpower bonus to low whoop checks. And they do not have any graphic to them. Okay, so this was the guy outside the map who I previously could not access. Uh, God Mediki is suddenly lighting up. And this door has now been opened. Let's take a look at the Whoopsie Goggles. Uh, it's bonus to logic versus bonus to low warp. And it is plus 4 instead of plus 3. My logic is already pretty respectable. Uh, but these do not have a graphic to them. Which I don't quite like. I will take the glasses with a graphic. And you can have the Whoopsie Goggles. Right. Now we are talking. Now we have progress. This is where we need to build the control board. This cannot be. Someone disrupted this experiment in the most brutal fashion. It is impossible to determine what was inside. Well, you say it is impossible to determine. And yet, I have the power of God, Emperor, and saves coming on my side. I promise I'm not going to do that often. But I am really curious about the results. And we have like 60 Medici, so we should be dating this check all the time. Done. There we go. Synthetic amniotic fluid pools around the floor. Very discernible traces stretch to the side opposite the entrance. Okay, so, so it actually didn't tell me anything. Uh, and a, another data crypt. Uh, the caustic stench of the reagents is staring at your nostrils. A broken glass crunching underfoot. Somebody wanted to destroy the laboratory. Or find some. Uh, Idira found us some secret loot. We found biogel, black water, and unidentified acid. I am smelling a puzzle coming up. This, this is definitely a puzzle coming up. A, oh, a Psy Crystal. Also no description to the Psy Crystal. So... What do we have here? Let okay. There we go. There are the puzzle elements. And Lady Cassia's Medicare. They all have just lost their minds. Please don't kill me. Okay, I will not kill you. For now. We have a laboratory journal. Experimental section. The child's influence on the psycho emotional state of various representatives of the Imperium. Access level or serial T prime. Experiment number this subgroup low born male. Test subjects ex exhibit signs of acute stress. The majority perished of blood loss within a day of being placed in the laboratory chamber due to the inability to hold the discharge of ocular secretions, tears, and the body's subsequent replacement of these secretions with the connective tissue of its internal environment. The individuals with the greatest resistance to the sacred child's resonance. Died several chronic rotations later. Extensive wounds in their abdomen, presumably inflicted by a jagged piece of metal. Death was caused by strangulation with the subject's own intestines. Subject's final shouts exhibited concerns over abominable tentacles and void worms, hallucinations prescribed to their own internal organs. Experiment number two, a subgroup low-born female. The dead subject that subjects died within an hour of entering the laboratory adjacent to the child's chambers. Most had their tongue, tongues beaten off or their jaws badly dislocated. Some test subjects lacked the physical strength to separate it from the rest of the skull. Cause of death, severe head injuries caused by impacting the walls or the floor. Experiment 3. Subgroup, a paralyzed patient who lost the ability to speak due to the shock caused by a manufacturing accident. Male. The test subject noted a tingling sensation in the deteriorated tissue. During Richard Aronto Orselio's uh, visit to the child, the test subject smiled and started humming, most likely trying to carry some plebeian tune, and then attempted to address the servant who brought him food. A lengthy conversation was prohibitive due to the servant's lack of tongue. 
Okay, so interesting. The paralyzed patient who couldn't speak actually had a good time around the child. Experiment 4. Sabru, a defective offspring of noble P. Orselio, pronounced unfit for studying the high art of navigation owing to the mutation of tissues required for installation of the obligatory augmentation that merge one's consciousness with the vessel. Additionally, she displays an overall feebleness of mind. Female. The test subjects mirrored the child's actions for three days. On the fourth day, the child became, became upset after hearing the news about the untimely demise of Amos Cantarelli, an officer of her personal guard. As a result, one of the test subjects peeled away several layers of tissue from her face and died from a resulting massive heart attack. The last surviving test subject was executed for attempting to contact the child. Well, you guys were certainly up to some fucked up shit. Uh, Adamantium. Okay. And another journal. Let's read that. <clears throat> more and more servants have recently been influenced by the immaterial, and it has nothing to do with the child's more frequent tantrums. We have established the corrupted flesh of the mutated reacts to the crystals we purchased from the Winterscale dynasty in an unusual way. I strongly recommend grinding the reagent to dust or into fine crumbs to speed up the reaction. Do not use acid under any circumstance. Trust me, you will not like having to tend to the burns for the next two dozen turns in a, in a row. The, the situation calls for something more neutral. Oh, and one more thing. The Tetris bless the data crystal H41 OK for the calculated number of chronotones, which means it is no longer necessary to stay near the device as you are waiting for the reaction to start. The DataCrypt H40KO failed over the course of our research. I should remind the Technomats to deliver this sacred mechanism into Magos Dioctio's capable hands. Okay, so it sounds like we need side crystals, not using acid, and the DataCrypt H41KOK. Maybe. Let's see. DataCrypt connected. Uh, it sounds like we need the H41 OK. Uh, KO was the bad one. And uh, what is the other journal? This one. Uh, this one has also mentioned H41 uh, OK. Uh, at, huh, OK. We could go with the uh, K040H, Adamantium, Flash of the Lowborn, and Cycrystal. Maybe that's the key. Uh, this one. Uh, for Tissue, we have Mutated. Oh, we only have Mutated and Navigator. So I think Mutated. Uh, Catalyst is, it was black water, and for the reagent, we do not have anything. Uh, why not? Okay, I think we go here. Uh, What happened? The rogue trader has recreated the control rod and restored power to the elevator. It's time to, time to return to the keeper of the station and ascend to the mistress's chambers. Well, did I make it correctly? Uh, is there any additional info on whether I fucked it up or not? Uh, hmm. Well, it looks like we can still use the machine. Uh, Let's see if there is anything else we can do with it. Let's put the side crystal into the transducer. Uh, oh, now we have crystal dust. I think that is going to be no this uh, V agent. Yes. Uh, with what was the experiment with the side crystal? Uh, side crystal was. Let me see. Okay. Uh, Psy Crystal was uh, with. Uh, 
Uh, no, it Psychrystal will... Okay, Psychrystal plus Mutants plus uh, Unknown. Uh, huh. Yes. Let's try this. I am a bit confused here. Uh, oh, Adamantium plus Blackwater was supposed to explode, apparently. Wait, which one did we use? Uh, we need to replace Data Crypt with this one. Was uh, Data Crypt uh, supposed to... Uh, was the Adamantium one supposed to work? Uh, uh. Oh, you need the Mistress's blood to create a control rod. Uh, do we not have it anymore? We... No, I think the Philactory has disappeared. Okay, so there is a mutated flesh sample here. Data Crypt connector. Uh... Like water catalyst flask and a reagent. Okay, I guess we just. I guess the one we made it works. So we are calling it a day. Uh, sure. Uh, not entirely. Wait. Flash sample. Oh. Okay, uh, this puzzle really confuses me because I feel like the combination I used was not supposed to work, but it did anyway. So let's go back to Fennec. Experience? Nothing matters more. Uh, by the way, how does uh, our experience look like? We need 80 more experience. Victory. Not bad, I would say. Let's save the game. Fennec, what do you have to say for yourself? Fennec Orselio looks a little better. The matted hair is now neatly braided, the wounds are tightly bandaged and there is a healthy blush under the scales of his cheeks. You dealt with the threats and powered the elevator. Well done. I trust you brought the activation rod as well. Remember, a second of hesitation may cost my mistress her life. Adira suddenly cocks her hand and drives her nail deep into his shoulder. Then she starts mumbling. The crossroads. There are two paths, both stained with blood, both leading to the Akusadai. They all wear masks, so poor and flimsy, they fall at the slightest touch. One hiding a blind man, another a traitor. Uh, okay. I think uh, Helic is probably a traitor, and maybe the other keeper is a blind man. And uh, uh, thank you, I did not understand a single word. Uh, tell me more. What paths? I cannot say. One is paved with blind faith, the other with hatred and treachery. Both lead to tragedy. You seem to have to decide what kind of tragedy you like the most. Who is who? Who do you see behind the masks? My whispers are giggling nastily. They will not speak. They're not real things. They say tearing off the masks is your concern. Uh, I think we are going to have to kill at least Fedek, since he is uh, likely a traitor. Thank you. Everything is clear now. Idira nods tiredly and glances at Fedek from the corner of her eye. The stations have enough problems without your sorcery, Psyka. Felix dismisses Idira with a derisive gesture and looks at you expectantly. You have many questions regarding what happened at the station. You think they are worth the life of my mistress? Who is the child mentioned in the documents and reports found at the station? The madmen I fought were certain that it is us who are the traitors. The servants alone cannot be blamed for what happened at the station. Most corpses I discovered were either unarmed or feeble. Uh, the madmen I thought were certain that it is us who are the traitors. Felix gives you an impassioned shrug. That's why they are insane. Whether you really heed the ramblings of retainers who dare to raise their hands against the science of a noble bloodline. <coughs> the servants alone cannot be blamed for what happened. Did you really think mere servants could prepare a coup? The senior officers are just as guilty. Half of my guards butchered one another because they suspected treason. As for the real culprit, the coup was st staged by those closest to the mistress. 
destroying the shuttles, shutting off the power, and disabling the security systems. Too many things require special access. Access available only to the keeper of the station. Uh, let's ask about the child first. You touched upon something you should not have touched at all. The keeper folds his arms and shakes his, shakes, shakes his head disapprovingly. The child is what the station servants call Mr. Scassi, but the commoner's dirty mouths must not say her name. You see, not all servants should have their vocal apparatus organs docked. Some prove to be useful while still able to speak. Uh, let's accuse him. As I'm sure you're aware, there were two keepers of the station. Your guess is absolutely correct. Eobald Rosselio, the demented old man obsessed with Lady Cassia and her power. Also the, and also the one to blame for the woes that have befallen Europe 5 and our noble life. Uh, I listened to a recording of the station officer's private conversation. You were very lenient with them and encouraged neglecting the security protocols on purpose. I saw the security captain's report. The keepers have access to all station systems. But Theobald stayed at his side the entire time and could not initiate the self-destruct protocol. Uh, let's start with the first one. I was lenient, this is true. And in the end, I paid the steep price. Just look at the ruins surrounding us. The mutineers have left almost nothing yet of my home. The keeper spits out the last few words with a particular bitterness. Uh, I saw the security captain's report. Which means he had done it before the report was filed. Or maybe after, or but it's turn faced with supper in disgust. You dare to suspect me of what happened. The one who is going to out of his way to preserve what little there still there is still left of oh, all the nerve. Please leave these slanderous accusations to yourself. Enough lies, Felix. I am certain that you are the one behind this school. Felix nods sadly. I guess it is the time to remove the mask. Congratulations! You got me. But did you really expect me to be sincere this entire time? To welcome you with open arms, an ally of Tissiphone and her monster. That gets a child who has tormented the navigators of House of Celio for years. Do not make me laugh. You arrived to help her completely destroy your house, and I cannot let this happen. What? What are you talking about? What are you babbling about? I know nothing of either this Tissiphone or monsters of any kind. You couldn't be more wrong, but the idea of destroying your house becomes more appealing with every word you say. Felix, you're quite obvi you're obviously quite mistaken. I came here to get myself a navigator, nothing more. What are you babbling about? You do not? Felix hesitates for quite a while. In this case, accept my sincere apology for the deception and my earlier behavior. I had no intention of making an enemy of a von Valencia's heir or destroying the station that me as a as home for many years. They left me no choice. You cannot even imagine what monster looks in the upper chambers. A box, a plague, a pestilence on our bloodline that seeks to destroy his house of Celio from the inside. And Theobald and his followers are just mindless fanatics serving this evil. Lady Cassia is the scion of a merciless tyrant, but it is not her relation to Stisiphon that is terrifying. She is a monster whose powers drive servants insane in mere turns. The cursed child who can kill a navigator from the Orsenio bloodline with a look. Only I managed to get close enough to her over the years to wriggle into favor, to lull the vigilance. And at long last, read my house of the curse. This is the truth. Okay, so I guess he is not just evil traitor, he is uh, he had best intentions. Uh hmm. we should question him first. All navigators are abominable mutants and monsters. So what? Yeah, that's uh, respectful. Perhaps you are ingratiating yourself to me, hoping I would let, do let down my god. Must have been terrible to live under a monster's yoke for so many years. I will help you destroy it. If this monster's death will convince you to finally leave the stage, I will kill her. If your cursed child agrees to become my navigator, I will gladly rid you of this burden. Seems like yet another lie. Tell me, do you ever speak the truth? Uh, let's be polite and respectful. All navigators are abominable mutants and monsters. So what? Felix clutches the precious staff in a tentacle-like hat. I may be a mutant, and yet monsters may wear many a pleasant guise. Do not believe everything you see. 
Well, if we can deal with this without mass murder, I would... And we have definitely seen that uh, Cassia is uh, capable of uh, driving people mad. Uh, let's just be diplomatic with the Felix. If your case a child agrees to become my navigator, I will gladly rid you of this bird. You don't understand. This This is... Felix stops mid-sentence, makes a brief pause, and then nods to himself. You're correct. This may work. It certainly is possible. You're going to need this charm. Felix hands you a precious stone without a frame of any kind. Its luminous surface remains cold to the touch, no matter how long you hold it in the palm of your hand. If you manage to press it against the monster's skin, whether by force or by guile, the baleful influence of your powers will recede. You will be able to take her and leave the station. Oh, why not? I don't need to fight Felix, even if he is behind the uh, destruction of this station. Uh, he, the things that he messed up are the internal Arcelio, uh, Arcelio affair, and uh, they can deal with it. Oh, there is our navigator. They don't seem to be doing so well. <laughs> the Cassia. Looking good. The pale figure with unnaturally long limbs stands with her arms raised, her hands deformed with talon like nails. Her deathly pale face is coated with blood that continually streams from her scarlet misted eyes. Her spiny gills, slightly hidden under her disheveled air, hair, twitch nervously at your approach. Only now do you notice the third eye on the young woman's forehead, hidden by a jeweled ornament. And when your eyes meet, you sense overwhelming, soul-smothering power. And will power check succeeded? By Idira, apparently, not us. Uh, you are enveloped in despairing grief, and an invisible hand closes around your throat, cutting off your breath. Your, li your limbs seem to fill uh, with lead. Your heart hammers in your chest, and the, the desire to turn and flee from this room, from this station, almost gets the better of you. At the last moment, you master your emotions, and your will pushes back against the illusion, forcing it to retreat. Abelard, is this? What vile creature is this? Agenta, read the world of this heresy. Uh, Lady Katia, I am here to help you. Please calm yourself. Uh, if only we had the Nevalentia. By the Emperor. If you do not stop your sorcery immediately, I will shoot you in the head. Bring the stone into contact with Cassia. Or stop your sorcery. Now. Uh, 63%, 60%, no choice. Uh, Abelard, ask Abelard or Agenda. Uh, I, I, this is too radical. Uh, bring the stone is an option. But I think I would like to ask her... To just try to persuade her to calm down. Persuasion check failed. She tilts her head to one side. Help me. I do not need help. The Emperor protects. I have seen his light, which warms the soul across billions of stars. Which warms the soul across billions of stars and hundreds of systems. In the depths of the warp and on the fringes of real space, his light never goes out. Strange tranquility envelops you. You no longer hear the wailing the soaps, the sights. You are surrounded by nothing but endless emptiness, quiet and calm, and endless loneliness. A few minutes go by, a few minutes, or perhaps hours go by, and reality slowly drags you back into the spacious and luxuriously furnished chamber, the awakening people to the unusual creature who you have now learned is yet another navigator. You come to your senses, well rested and modified. Uh, I don't want to threaten her. Let's go with the stone. You take one unbearably leaden step toward her, then another, and another. Your entire world narrows to a single target, a strange creature who has raised a tempest in your soul. As you lift a hand holding the stone, interminably slowly, you notice that up close Cassia looks more alive, more real. When you bring the ice cold charm into contact with her, startlingly human neck, the stone burns you, glowing mercury now, 
It leaps from your hand and, with a hiss and a strange crystalline charm, merges with Cassia's skin. Ah! How's the lady navigator in pain? And her sharp nails try to find pages on the glowing stone. But a second later, there is no trace of any wound. Only the subtle illumination of the artifact under her pale skin. What? What? Why is everything so... dull? Lady Cassia blinks, waking from a vision and continuing to rub at the place where the stone was set. Her scarlet, her scarlet eyes look kind of cautiously around the room, then at you. What did you do to me? I... I can barely see the colors. And your color? It is muted. Who are you? You, girl, may address me as your lordship rock trader. Pointedly remain silent. It matters little, you profane creature. You will die regardless. I'm looking for a navigator to join my crew. You look like you'll do. Conrad von Valencius. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. An ease settles over her features, and she nods cautiously. Pardon my manners, Conrad. I did not expect to make such a gracious acquaintance in such a time of in such a time of great sorrow for our house. What is this? I feel faint. The heavy set uh, old man who has been kneeling nearby erupts into low sobs. His eyes, swollen from crying, dart desperately around the room as though the veil of ignorance has just been ripped away from them. The child! Lady Cassia, where are you? Sacred child! Strong reserve! Despite his venerable age, the navigator leaps up and rushes to the young woman's side. You! The old man shifts, revealing his face to you. It is threaded with jet black veins, and his bulging, milky eyes bear a striking resemblance to those of a dead fish. A sickly sweet scent assaults your nostrils as if the old man's flesh is rotting inside his decaying husk. My eyes fail me, for they are unable to make you out as either enemy or elf. I am warning you, one wrong move will bring the wrath of House of Sailor down upon your head. Uh, at present, I am trying to determine what is happening on Urok 5. No, I mean you no harm. I came to seek the Navigator's aid. Damn it. Lies! You want to get your hands on the child, but the House of Senior will not allow it. Wardens, close ranks. Defend the heir to your last breath. Uh, damn, this is bad. Oh well, nothing we can do. Uh, I am going to stand where I stand. Uh, God, Commander, Medicaid, Defender, Defender, Defender. You know what, uh, Abelot is going to be in this section, I will deal with these two. Uh, Sister Argenta is going to take cover at this side and shoot at the guys from the other, from this place. And Idira, hmm, where do I put Idira? Um, you know what, maybe here. Yes, let's try this, this configuration. What are you doing? Visions of Triumph. So is. And I failed that I will check. Damn it. Ow. Right. What did you do to me? Uh, you reduced my weapon skill and ballistic skill by 5 for 2 rounds. And you... Oh, oh my, 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 my. So, there is... Yeah. My chances of shooting are absolutely awful now. Uh, Alright. Then... Let's go with the... Uh, clues first. Okay, enemies started. Uh, then I would like to shoot... At the... Uh... Let me check again, what does this do? Oh, that I shot is extra range, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Then I am going to shoot this person and miss. And then I'm going to use uh, tactical knowledge, ideally avoiding that guy. No. 
It, it hit only one enemy, but it only took one clue. I don't quite understand why that is. Also, I may just die in this encounter. <laughs> because apparently the choices I made were not great. And you're giving orders now. Yep, I definitely messed this up. Ow. Or oh, Idira. Now, Sister Argenta. Uh, if you shoot... Okay, 57%, 80%, uh, 80%. Looks like 80% is the best I can get here. Yes, I definitely misplayed this encounter. Uh, we are going to shoot uh, this defender. To death. Uh, and after that we are going to shoot on the run. And when I say shoot on the run, I mean we are actually going to just shoot this defender. And miss. Too bad. Well then, chant a war hymn, please. We get 14 momentum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very bad. Right. Uh, Abelard. Someone yeah. else can do this. Uh, you know what? I am going to go... F well. Mm, do I go for Reckless Strike? If I charge from this place, I will not be able to reach this guy. So no, I'm not going to charge. I am going to do a Reckless Strike. I am going to do a Brace for Impact. Uh, then I am going to move to this position. And hit both of them. Unfortunately, Theobald survived. Ouch! And even hit Abelard. Uh, marked by Whoop. The creature is cursed. Its dodge is decreased by minus 15 and it becomes a high priority aim for enemies. Well, that's bad. Uh, ha! Okay. Three enemies on this side. I think I am going to reposition here and use a Psychic Scream on... Well, it wouldn't kill either of these guys. It's actually not going to kill any of them. They are all pretty damn beefy. Uh, I think I should try and focus down the navigator after all. So what I'm going to do is study enemies. Then I am going to do expose weakness on him and then I'm going to do a forewarning for myself okay ouch right uh, I my ballistic skill is getting worse and worse really not a fan of that uh, if uh, if there is only one en enemy in the selected area one enemy right not a problem for me. what the hell I don't understand this I do not understand this at all uh. okay if I shoot him it is 56% if I were to walk up to him uh, and uh, hit him, it is 100%. And this guy, 92%. Uh, I think that is what I'm going to do. Probably should have been here, actually. 
Fantastic. And let's do a walking. Okay. Poor, poor Abelard. Ow. Now, Sister Argenta, what can we do with you? Uh, do loads of free attacks, but unfortunately they are at pretty bad odds. But it is probably still a good idea to do so. Uh, yes, so, let's start Blast. Uh, go for this one first. Miss. Go for Theobald. Miss. Go for uh, defend for this defender. Oh come on, Genta. Please. Finally. At least you got one. Uh, well, you would not kill him. Or him. Try this. Huzzah. Okay. Uh, and uh, shot on the run to get one more attack. At uh, at at uh, at the this defender. Still miss. <sighs> okay, I was definitely far too cavalier with this encounter. Uh, right, let's strike again. Go ham on Theobald. Unfortunately, he survived. And that is it. So, I can go with Idira on him. I think that it, you know what, I definitely want to expose weakness. And after that, yeah, let's go and hit him. What are the odds? 100%. Let's beat his ass with Idira. Or if we do this, no, let's just beat, let's just beat him up. Uh, Yes, we can first study enemies. Anything is. And then hit him. Nice. What the hell is melee superiority? Who knows? Maybe melee superi superiority is uh, flanking. <sighs> ouch. More ouches. Uh, switch to my long range less gun and uh, yes Huzzah. Theobald is dead uh, and next we are going to study enemies uh, well I, I can no I I can actually hit this guy and I can hit this guy uh, you Let's study you Loaded with clues now. I can even do a no. <laughs> Unfortunately, he is too far for tactical knowledge. Now, Sister Argentum, uh, will you disappoint me this time? Please try to hit him. Finally. Finally, we are winning. Okay, I should be able to go here and then charge. No, I cannot charge. Uh, let's go this way and charge. I should be able to charge, I think. 
right? Yes. Finally. Okay, this was a fairly tough fight. Mostly because of my mistakes. <laughs> what have you done? Don't touch me. I will manage on my own. Uh, yeah, I don't think we are best friends now. Uh, let's do level ups. Uh, Conrad, you are now a level 5 adept. What can we get for you? We can get Litany of Hatred. The Minister of Greece and their allies get uh, willpower bot, so plus 2 damage for single shots and attacks of opportunity for one round. Uh, kind of not so good. And the other one is defense against uh, wolf. Uh, pattern recognition. Every enemy with clue inflicts one stack of clue on one random enemy without clues in a three cell radius around them at the start of their turn. Potentially good. When the adept triggers stacks of clues on enemies, the adept gains plus one damage and plus two armor penetration for every triggered clue stack until the end of combat. Uh, yeah, decent. Uh, fresh target is hitting uh, full health enemies. Every ally in study enemy's area of effect adds additional clue to the distribution. That's quite good. Uh, instead exposed, uh, not something we are using. Uh, if there is only one enemy uh, in the area of effect of study enemies, they gain plus two stacks of clues. That is quite good, I think. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, in the first turn of combat, we randomly distribute clues among the enemies in a town cell radius. I would say actually that is really good. That is like uh, using uh, uh, clues without uh, taking actions for that. Uh, more clues? Uh, no, we do not have that. Uh, improved tactics. Tactical knowledge requires three clues instead of four and pro uh, provides plus int damage points. Uh, joint offense is giving hit plus 5 hit chance and critical hit chance. That is actually pretty good. Uh, what else do we have here? I think I might go for improved tactics. Right? Uh, let me check again what tactical knowledge does on uh, activation. Okay, it gives plus uh, additional damage. Uh, so it's between joint offense and uh, uh, improved tactics. I think I might actually go for joint offense first, because it, it uh, gives better benefit than tactical knowledge, I feel. Uh, characteristic advance. Do we go for perception? Or intelligence. I think we are going to go for intelligence. Uh, I mean, for perception. Right? What do you mean 40 went to 40? I, I, I don't understand that. Uh, it feels like the uh, yeah, upgrade interface is kind of bugged in that it gives you these minuses for reason that I do not understand. So we would go from 40 to 45. Uh, alternatively, we could go for willpower and get willpower of uh, 50, which I also think is pretty good. And you know what? I'm going to go for that. Let's go. Let's get ourselves to 50 willpower. Next, Abilard. Uh, you are getting an active ability. What are your active abilities? Uh, inc reduce incoming damage and get wounds. Uh, mark a target to get uh, 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 bonus armor and uh, damage. Uh, I guess that's all right. Uh, forceful strike. Your okay. This is pushing enemies. I'm not sure how that is good. This is a taunt, and uh, this is a new ability that you get for. Uh, uh, okay, so this is an alternative to charge. You dash through an enemy to the cell on the opposite side and make a melee attack with 50% reduced damage. Okay, I see. Uh, I get the idea, but I do not get the utility. 
I think uh, for Everlord, I'm going to go for Sworn Enemy so that we can focus down a single target. Uh, and for your skill, uh, no to Carouse, I think I'm going to go for Coercion. We do not have any real socialize in the team. Uh, Idira, you are the Psyker, so you are getting a new Psyker thing, maybe. Although I haven't really been using your psychic powers to buff allies all that much. Um, well, plus hit, crit hit chance actually would be pretty good, yeah. So we can get rid of some enemies earlier. I, I think I'm going to go for that. Yes, yes, I'm going to go for that. And for your skill... So you currently have... Uh, 50 willpower, uh, weapon skill, intelligence, who cares? Uh, well, who cares? You already adapt. Uh, I think. Do I go for weapon skill? Do I go for weapon skill? No, I think I'm going to keep psychic willpower since uh, some psychic powers are keyed off of willpower. And dear sister Argenta. Uh, you are getting more ballistic skill. You are a big, uh, mighty ballistic skill person. Uh, the marksman and the allies will automatically dodge. Okay, I see. So it's uh, for more controlled areas. Uh, you get uh, ballistic skill, crit hit uh, damage and crit hit chance till the end of combat. After you kill three enemies. E yeah, this is actually amazing. Rapid fire. The next marksman's burst attack will have double rate of fire, but 25% less damage. And all shots will follow random trajectories. Huh. Uh, sh that shot costs minus 1 AP, cost 1 AP less to minimum of 1, and has less uh, has a penalty and does not have end movement. No. Uh, immediately spend all AP and MP to get cover efficiency. And the next time you use shot on the run, you get uh, all spent movement. What? Okay, so you use ready go on one turn, and then on a different turn, you use uh, uh, the shot on the run. Okay. Fair enough. No, I think I'm going to go for Revolt Slaughter. I would like uh, Sister Argenta to be even shootier and fightier. So. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to be the end of the episode. In the uh, tomorrow's episode, we will talk to Cassia and uh, see if she is willing to join us or if she blames us for the slaughter of her servants. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.